All right, guys, uh, I'm in my Model Y here. This is a 2024 Model Y long range all wheel drive. I want to talk about the question of preconditioning the battery on a Tesla. Now, you might have heard of that term preconditioning. I want to talk about what does it mean? How does it work? How can you manually do it? How does it work when you're going to a supercharger? This question was asked by a new owner of a Model Y in like an owner's group on a forum and asked the question, do I need to precondition the battery every time I, I charge the battery at night? How does that work? They couldn't find any information on that, so I want to talk about that in this video. So for starters, the preconditioning the battery, how it works is the batteries need to really maintain a certain temperature. So these batteries are maintained around 76 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really where the battery is happiest when it's at that temperature. Now if it's colder outside, the battery needs to heat itself to get up to that temperature. If it's really hot outside, the battery cools itself, so it's constantly heating and cooling the battery. You're using energy from the battery pack to heat and cool it. Now, really, there's two scenarios where preconditioning of the battery is going to come into play. One, The first one is you can manually set the battery to precondition itself, so that way you're going to get better range, better efficiency out of the battery when it, in, in colder temperatures. So here on the screen, if you go to the control menu here, and you go to schedule this is where you can find the preconditioning settings so if you see there's preconditioning you can warm the cabin and the battery at a certain time so if we go in this we can set if you regularly leave at a certain time every day you can you can set that time and you can put what days that is or you could have it different for each day Sunday through Saturday of the week and then you can repeat that what that's going to do is if you do that it's going to it's going to slowly charge the battery so that it's warm when you are going to leave. It's also going to have the cabin temperature set so that way the cabin's going to be uh, at your set temperature as well. And then you can also set your charging uh, separately as well. So if you want to have your charging set at a certain time, let's say you want it to come on at midnight and end by 6 or 7 a.m., you can do that on this part as well. So the preconditioning, this is the way that you can manually precondition your battery at a set time each day. Now really where I've used that preconditioning set time is if I'm going on like say a long road trip, I want to get maximum range out of the battery and I'm in the colder like winter months, I'll do that so that way the battery's warm, the cabin's warm, and I don't have to use energy from the battery to heat the, the, the battery or heat the cabin. But really, you don't have to do that on any kind of regularity if you don't want to. I would say if you park your car outside and it's cold in like winter, fall, spring months where it's cold and, and you're parking your car outside, you could set that up so that way the battery is going to be warm, the cabin's going to be warm, and that way you're using energy from the, the charger, from the, the electrical grid to, to heat the battery up in the cabin. You're not having to use extra energy from the battery. So it's going to help extend or get maximum range, get better efficiency in the winter time. For example, you don't do that, it's really cold out, and you're only going to be driving 80 miles that day, and you have it charged up to like 220 miles of range, right? It's not going to be, yeah, you'll use a little more energy from the battery to go those miles because it'll have to heat itself, heat the cabin up. So you use a little bit more range, but it, it's not that big of a deal. So I've only done that a handful of times, and it's not necessary every time you charge the battery. So I would say it's only necessary in colder months when you want to get maximum range or efficiency from the battery. Those would be the, the, the instances that you would precondition it, kind of it'd be conditioning overnight. Now there's another situation where preconditioning comes into fact, and this is probably a little more, uh, this is where the car will precondition itself when you're navigating to a supercharger. Now the battery, the warmer the battery is, the better that it will accept a fast charge. So at the Tesla superchargers, it charges really fast rates of charge. And if it's the battery is warmer, it's going to charge faster. So if you're on a road trip or if you're going to a supercharger and you want to charge as quickly as possible, the battery will start preconditioning itself. You don't even have to set that. How you get that to happen is you navigate to the supercharger. So I'd always recommend navigating, so putting into the 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 navigation that you want you want to go to a supercharger now for an example here when you're on the navigation screen if you touch the lightning bolt that's the charging menu and that's going to that's going to show you which superchargers are available and it's going to rank them on the side here from closest to furthest away and it's going to tell you the price uh, per kilowatt now for example let's say if I'm, I'm going to go to this one here I hit the arrow button it's going to navigate me there and you can see here at the top, it says preconditioning battery for fast charging. And that'll precondition that, that this is about 29 minutes away. 
it'll precondition the battery all the way there. It'll heat it up so it's optimal temperature so that way it'll be able to charge at maximum speeds as possible. So it's easy to navigate to superchargers because you just touch on the screen and it pulls up the ones and you just navigate to it and it's going to take you there. When you're going on a road trip and you put in your destination, it will, it will show you where superchargers are available and it will be able to precondition your battery as you're traveling to each of the superchargers required for your trip. As you're, as you're navigating the superchargers, it's just going to precondition the battery when you get there. Now, if you're only a short ways away from a supercharger, let's say you're only three, three or four miles from a supercharger and you navigate there, it's not really going to have a lot of time to heat up the battery if the battery is uh, colder. So when you get to the supercharger, it will, it will say that it, charging speeds are a little slower because of the temperature of the battery, which it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the battery you'll still get you'll still get charging speeds but they're not going to be as fast as if you had preconditioned the battery for 30 40 minutes recently i was on a road trip of about 800 miles round trip and it was a very hot summer day uh, temperatures were from 85 degrees to 100 degrees fahrenheit throughout the drive when i was navigating to the superchargers the battery never said that it was preconditioning and that's because the battery was already warm enough be from the outside temperature that it, it didn't need to precondition. So another tip with supercharging, if you're on like, let's say you're on a road trip and you're going to a destination, you're going to stay at a hotel or a, wherever you're going to stay, it's recommended to, to supercharge before you end your day. So let's say you're driving to a hotel and there's a supercharger close to there, stop by the supercharger because that all that driving you've done to get to that destination has warmed the battery up and it'll charge a lot faster. So you go, go charge for you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes, go to the hotel, end your day, and then in the morning, you'll be ready to go. If you waited until the morning to charge and it's cooler temperatures out, it's gonna take a lot longer to supercharge because the battery is cooler. So guys, hopefully this is helpful information. This is kind of basic battery stuff, but really, if you do nothing, the battery will be fine. You don't have to manually precondition it. It'll just it'll just precondition itself when you're on your way to superchargers. So just make sure you're navigating to them, and uh, it'll be fine. So guys, uh, hopefully this is helpful. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.